This segment brought to you by the Nashville Pet Emergency Clinic. Your dog may be in pain and you don't even know it. The source of that pain could be from parasites. Veterinarian Dr. Craig Pryor is here to talk about the importance of parasite prevention. As always, love it when you're with us. My Some pleasure. good information here, especially as we're in the spring and summer season yes. right now. What exactly are parasites and how do, do I guess, dogs contact? So contract? we have two types of parasites. We have internal parasites and we have external parasites. Okay. So both are issues. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the internal parasites we see these days are coming from dog parks, daycares, things like that. So you need to make sure that you are picking up your poop after your dog, after especially if you go to the dog park, dispose mm -hmm. of it properly and have them on proper parasite preventions. And we're seeing a great, you know, this is the time of year we see a spike in the flea population and the tick population. Okay. So fleas and ticks are terrible. They're both different. Fleas, they yeah. get, you know, you have a flea infestation. You can get two fleas getting your dog, come home, and you can have a flea infestation in 30 days. Because two fleas can produce over 2,000 eggs in 30 days and you've got a problem on uh -huh. your hands. Ticks they get from outside. Ticks are just terrible this time of year as well. We get them from being out in the parks, going hiking, things like this, mm -hmm. backyards, yeah. especially if you're around a lot of woods. And you know, ticks are a three host parasites so on three different animals, so very hard to break their life cycle. Okay. So let's break this down really and make this really easy. So mm -hmm. your dog sh uh, should be on a monthly parasite prevention, a parasite prevention that does heartworms, intestinal parasites, and hopefully something that begins fleas. So Moo, my dog, is on Sentinel, does heartworms, five different parasites, and it breaks, breaks the flea life cycle. It's like flea birth control. Yeah. And then Moo is also on a new product. It's been out almost a year now. This to me is a, you know, occasionally you've got these drugs that come along that are absolute game changers. Mm -hmm. This is one of those. Is it? It's okay. called Brevecto. Yeah. Now, it's an oral chewable treat. It's a pill that you give oral. It's a little chewy chunk. Mm -hmm. It kills uh, ki fleas and ticks for up to 12 weeks. Wow. One pill. One pill. Okay. One pill, 12 weeks protection. Three months. I'm done. I'm great. Yeah, fantastic. So Moo gets that. Uh, she got it in February. She just got it again. We're going to go through the summer with it. We're not gonna, we don't have fleas and ticks. In fact, Moo and I went mountain biking on Friday. Mm -hmm. I came home with ticks. She didn't because that's <laughs> what she's on Revecto. And, and, and again, it's very important because at times this can be deadly. How, how, how so, so? Ticks, you know, the big thing about ticks mm -hmm. is that ticks spread to disease. They can bring, bring disease into your house. So in this area of the country, we see a little bit of Lyme's disease. We see Ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain, which mm -hmm. are tick-borne diseases, which affect humans as well as your dog. Okay. And they're serious. So there's a great website to go to called petsandparasites.org. And you can actually look at the incidence of these uh, diseases in our county. Oh, you can fantastic. actually see how many dogs are coming down with them because if dogs are getting exposed to them, our family's getting exposed to them as well. Wow. As always, great advice. Thank you for being with us today. If you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Pryor, he's with the Murphy Road Animal Hospital.